There's oh. there's one down there. It's glowing. I think. Yeah, that <clears throat> is a page over there. To the right, up, left. Yep. Oh, on the. Okay. Yes, sir. Nope, that's you a light. Think it's like a Slenderman. No. Oh, like there's a Slenderman page. There thing. Go. Ah. Oh, he's holding a severed dick. <laughs> okay. What is this? Music. What? What? What the fuck? What? What am I missing? Stay away from me. What am I uh -oh. missing? What did I miss? All aboard the Pog Train, everybody. We're back here in uh, Choo Choo Charles. I forgot what the name of the game was. <laughs> you wanted to say moment. Thomas the Tank Engine. I know I, I did, did a little bit want to say Thomas the Tank Engine, yeah. <laughs> um, That's okay. So, hey, everybody. We're back here in Choo Choo Charles uh, for what we're thinking may be our last part. I think it might be. But we'll um, see. We'll see. If I could play my cards right. It is us we're talking about, so we'll uh, <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to go backwards, I think. Uh, to this person. Uh, yeah, uh -oh. okay. Oh, didn't we try and it didn't let us go back that way? Oh, I guess we could go. It, I oh, guess it doesn't we? matter which way we go, because he's kind of in the middle of both tracks. Look at that. Steam. I thought I heard some weird noise. Yeah, also. I was very concerned for a second. Oh, it did. Okay, it took us back this way. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so after the canyon. Uh, I think I want to get off after the next uh, bridge. So, Sean, I thought it would be fun if I looked up oh. some fun facts about Thomas the Tank Engine. Would you like to hear some of them? Yeah, give me some fun facts about Thomas the Tank Engine. Um, Are they naughty? <laughs> no. Um, the first... <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. And I mean, you can... I don't know. You have a weird brain. You can make it naughty. Um, the, uh... That's true. What, um, what year do you think Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends made its United States debut on the public broadcasting service? Ooh. Um... I want to say early 90s. I want to say like 93, 92. That is not very not very far off. It is 1989. 89. Mm -hmm. I, I really was trying to think of if I was born before or after um, it would have started. And it turns out uh, I was born after. Yeah, isn't that cool? Hey, it is cool. Aren't you the new guy who's come here to work for us? So I guess now Thomas is Not like anymore. I'm leaving. Like 32, 33. Mm -hmm. You must be. It's 1989 to be one year older than I need. us, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Hot dang. And don't worry, I won't make you work for free. Does it say <laughs> what what month it started? Uh, it doesn't. But I'm going to find I'm out. I'm a nice enough guy to pay you. You see, Mr. Warren never oh, told he's a nice anyone enough guy to pay us. Oh, wow. Operation here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're really doing us a favor here, Ronnie. <laughs> he never even reported the cave-in. It originally aired in 1984, but that was in uh, Our living Britain. quarters are atrocious, and I'm far uh, overqualified oh. for the pay I'm supposed to receive. To top it all off, none of us miners ever received copies of our pepperwork. Oh, that doesn't speaking affect of that, my subordinates as much as someone uh, with my status. I don't want to interrupt what you were talking about, so feel free to stop me if I okay. am. Um, I happened upon a, a Facebook post earlier today and I where it was like files to prove that he breached it, it was talking contract. about uh, Dragon's Den and Shark Tank. Oh, okay, yeah. And the fact, and and, and someone in the comments mentioned like, oh. The U.S. of course had to make it Shark Tank so that they're different and special. Um, and I really hated the tone of the comment. And it's like the U.S. didn't change the name of it. The producers or the executives or the network did. Not the country as a whole. Yeah, like 
We didn't vote on that shit. But since you're here, you um, didn't. But then I, but then I started thinking about the implication of of using the term dragons and sharks uh, in the context of those shows, and I thought it was really interesting because <clears throat> the show wants you to think like, oh, you're walking into the dragons den. You're, you know, you're going into dangerous territory. The dragons are gonna ask a lot of you. Yeah. Um. But if you extend the metaphor, f metaphor farther, uh, what you actually end up with is a pretty apt description of like <clears throat> rich people in modern day capitalism, where like they hoard a ton of wealth, and basically their sole purpose is to keep accumulating everyone else's wealth. Yeah. Um. So, it's a pretty interesting uh, parallel there. Hmm. And then, uh, I was thinking about the the further implications of comparing these rich people to sharks, where it's like they see they smell a little bit of blood <gasps> oh, in the water, and then they're like definitely coming for it. Fuck, I don't know. I don't Can know you get inside the house? No, it's locked. Oh shit! You probably can't get me here. Let's find out. <laughs> Back on that fun fact, it looks it like might. the first episode was January 29th, 1989. Oh. It took a while to, okay. to dive and find it, because I guess it originally aired here with Shining Time Junction, and that first episode was that day in January, so. Or Shining Time Station, or whatever it was. Uh, Shining Time... Station, yeah. I think. On the island of Sodor. In the animated series, Thomas um, has a top speed estimated to be between X and X miles per hour. How fast do you think this bad boy can go? Between X and X? It gives me two measurements, Whoa. like a, a, a span, so I want to see if he can get within that span. Well, the minimum has got to be zero, right? He's not always moving. Top speed. <laughs> oh, okay. Gee dang it. Um... <laughs> Look at that! Did that you was see that? a dope jump. You some kind of acrobaticus? Clear that! Clear that gap! Not the amicus. Uh, okay. I'm gonna guess fifty to seventy. Wait, is it miles per uh, hour or kilometers? It is written out in miles per hour. All right, fifty to seventy. You are actually higher. It says his top speed oh, really? is estimated to like be between thirty to forty. Oh. Well, yeah, you don't want them to go too fast. You don't want the kids thinking that they're entitled to speed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, what is that noise? It's like... Wah. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't sound great. No, it doesn't. It sounds like it's coming from inside this building that I can't get into. Or can I? Careful. <laughs> Charles is nearby. Yeah. Well, uh, I know we never tested if he could get me when I'm, uh, like climbing up a building. Oh, I see him. I saw him. Briefly. Shit. A flicker. Of a demon. Those birds flew really close to my face. <laughs> um. Save us! <laughs> they cried. <laughs> no, I said. <laughs> no. I think I could make that no. gap. I'm gonna have to try. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you nice doubter! Nice legs, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I made them myself. Yeah. Setting the foundation for this operation has been considerably more complicated than I expected. Not only by cost, but the logistics of construction, delivery, and supplies to the primary mindsets. We'll need to strike gold fast if we want a chance of avoiding bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> Across. Go. Gold in them lar mines and also monster eggs or whatever. Did you know? I mean, they they must be more valuable. Oh, definitely. Oh, oh yeah. Think of all the gold you could get. You could use it to buy a monster egg. <laughs> you could even buy a mine. Yeah, you could, you could buy a boat. Ooh. You know how much we want Ooh, one of those. Ooh, what's this? Hello? Old shit ton of papers. Oh, that's Ron. He's oh, mission. Okay. Critical item. <laughs> See, I had to do all this. I had to do it for Ronnie, for him to do it to him. 
Yeah. You doubted me. So, Sean. Thomas's iconic blue color is also the official color of the Northwestern Railway. Before Thomas was blue, what color was he originally? Ooh, I want to say green. He was indeed a teal green, oh, green or with white lining, apparently. Ooh. Yep. And his driver's name sounds sexy is Bob. <laughs> See, I knew you could make it horny if you just tried. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh, baby, I bet you were teal green back in the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> See, you get me. This would be a really good time for Charles to attack my train. Damn it. I would it. agree. Maybe he already did. Oh, no, you'd be able to see it, I guess. Because <laughs> yeah. you have a weird mental connection with your train, I guess. You look like a monkey I don't climbing know how my those train's towers. Doing. <laughs> I sure am glad I found wow, these files. Okay, racist. Here's that scrap you were begging for. Begging? Don't spend it all in <coughs> one place. <laughs> you can actually only oh, spend it in one guy. place. Your train. Oh, I guess you can spend it while you're moving. That's that's stretching the rules. Yeah, you can spend it in several places. Yeah, that's, that's stretching the. Uh, how that works. Um, do you remember wait for us to get to the next any section. of the celebrities that were on Thomas the Tank Engine Friends? Oh, there gosh. were three um, uh, Wesley prominent. Snipes. <laughs> no, there were three prominent ones. <laughs> well, one more prominent than the others. One of them's one of them's got to be Tom Hanks. Nope. I bet. Really? It would make sense wow. though. You can okay. uh, like I think I think because of Polar Express, you can just picture him as a train guy. <laughs> Yeah. Which is fair. If I had to guess, Tom Hanks is a pretty damn good guess. Uh, I will say that one of the original storytellers is a member of the Beatles. Uh, Paul McCartney? Ringo Starr. Really? Mm -hmm. Ringo Starr was... did, like, segments for the Shiny Time Junction and stuff like that. Would not have expected right? that. Right? He was the storyteller for okay. 52 episodes. Wow. The other uh, celebrities huh. that joined the cast included Alec Baldwin and Pierce Brosnan. Didn't Alec Baldwin shoot a shoot a It's complicated. <laughs> That's that could have its and who's that could have its own episode. Pierce Brosnan. He shot some people as James Bond. Pierce Brosnan. But not he didn't really shoot them though. No. I don't know. That's complicated. Complicated. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you know, I don't know. Like I don't think it's complicated to say that Alec Baldwin shot somebody. Well it's 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 uh, it well, okay, he did, but he did it, it sounds like he did it on purpose, but he didn't do it on purpose. Right. No, I don't mean to okay. suggest yeah. that Alec Baldwin intentionally murdered someone. Okay, good. Because he did, but like uh, on a separate occasion. <laughs> down in Mexico. We were there. Alright, so I think I'm gonna hit up this person. No, I should go around the bend, right? Uh, yeah. South mine. I should go around here. We should check out the... This yeah, person. agreed. Agreed. <laughs> in the first book in the Railway series, because he wrote them as books originally, um, the original, uh... Thomas the Tank Engine? Yeah. Um... I didn't know you could write. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the author, you dope. Uh, the artist... Well, I don't know. The artist was not faithful to his vision for Henry's wheel arrangement. And it says the author <laughs> said later, I was so annoyed, I endeavored to kill Henry off. <laughs> Which is just hilarious to me that he was like, I'm gonna kill a train because I don't like how his wheels look. There's such a mood, I'm gonna really. Kill a train. He's got too many wheels in his wheelbase. Yeah, man. <laughs> I keep hearing a sound in my right ear that sounds like Christmas bell jingling. That's that's weird. Oh, it's crickets. There were indeed gotcha. crickets. Okay. If 
Fun fact, uh, Sir Topham Hatt was an Americanized name. Um, he was originally called the Fat Controller. <laughs> the... <laughs> I'm the one that controls the But before the fat. that, he was the Fat Director. And then he became the Fat Controller. <laughs> and then it says, Americans dislike the nickname Fat, so they used the character's name, Sir Topham Hatt, instead. You hear Fat being controlled, and you think that of me? <laughs> No, no, Skyler. I am the fat. No, Thomas. I control the fat. I am the fat. The trans fat. The, the saturated fat. <laughs> Sir Topham Hat is a more fun name. Right? A witch. Oh. Push her I found the a picture. It says Reverend Wilbert Audrey with his creation's most famous voice, Ringo Starr. I thought it said with his creation. Ringo Starr, and I was like, what? Ingredients for my very own swap. <laughs> Why is there a witch? Yeah, Ringo Starr was... The fuck? <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Uh, Ringo Starr was made up for the show. Get me out of it. Oh my god. <laughs> He's made up for the show. The Beatles weren't real. And if you wait over there and bring it back for me, I'll pay you to... She smells a carcass on the island. Okie dokie. need to be wary of Barry. The Schwamp. Wary of Barry. Keep an uh, eye out for him splashing around. And don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still, he's as kind as a kitten. See, now I'm really curious to find out what Barry is. We, well, we gotta do it to We gotta find out, right? Do it to him. Then we're gonna lose some scrap. Tasty, yummy stew recipe. Swamp water, salt, clover, <laughs> dirt, meat, salt, salt. <laughs> meat, any kind, of human included. Ha! <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> that was a pretty good impression of uh, the witch from Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Literally, as you jumped, I heard the whistle. <laughs> Oh, oh, he got you. Oh, there is a dude. <laughs> what did it look? It looks like the. It looked like the alien from the beginning of uh uh uh, uh Men in Black, the one that jumps at day before K splatters it all over oh his face. Oh my god! Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> what the hell? Weirdly specific reference. I saw that scrap. Can't hide scrap from me. I sniff it out. <laughs> I don't know if this is still accurate, because this article is from... Actually, wait, when was this article from? The Middle Ages. I'm reading it on mirror.co.uk. Uh, this is from April 2020. So it says, uh, if this is to be true, a Thomas toy, or one of his many friends, is sold somewhere in the world every two seconds. Wow. That's... damn, right? That's got to be just like an average, though, right? Oh, I imagine. But still. Impressive. You told your friendly he's a kitten when you're nearby. He said you have to stay still, I believe? Yeah. Keeps approaching me. Oh ho! You're approaching me. I did hear the train whistle, though. <laughs> it feels like the train whistle is not always super indicative of Charlie coming, though. I think it just means like he will try and attack you if he can get to you, but he definitely can't get to you where you are right now. I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe. If we can attract him here, we can get him to fight with this thing. <laughs> Pull some eternal Barry. cylinder shit, make the monsters fight each other. Yeah. Go away, I'm a little not close for comfort, bud. Oh. Swam through me. Yeah, uh, did you ever play inside? Haha. Uh -huh. I did. It's also reminding me of the uh <laughs> it's a Swedish fish. Ooh, um, Barracuda. It's also reminding me of the, the one monster at the underwater section, like the, with all the hair. That would like chase after you, do you know what oh, I'm talking yeah. about? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was also getting. I just that thought box it was from. just like a little girl that that was really good at swimming. That is true. There he is. We're gonna find out. If he goes through the water, I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> come on, motherfucker, come on! Come on, motherfucker, come on! He is circling you, buddy. He circling sure his is. prey. I bet he's trying to find his path over to here. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. That's not fair. Yeah, boost me across the water. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It'd be really funny if uh, his attack animation was interrupted by Barry's attack animation. <laughs> He's just like, no, me first. I'm gonna get you. Man, I, was, I really wasn't banking on him being able to just walk across water. Yeah, I, get, I think he was legit looking for the shortest route to sprint across the water first. <laughs> and then it was like, alright, all right, so I found it, here we go. <laughs> So I think now oh, I think I now have... that we have the meat already. Oh, I do. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, now we can just go give it to her. So it is kind of nice that you don't have to repeat. Like that would have been annoying to have to do that again. Same with like climbing the building if you died on your way back down before giving the documents to Ronnie. I appreciate that they have that yeah. continuity there. Oh show. Sure. I wonder what iteration of our. Archivist, are we at this point? How many times we died? I think it's only like four or five, though. Yeah, we haven't. I've only died like three what times now. You four times, maybe. Here are those Thank you. scraps I offered. Mm -hmm. Have a safe You're night, welcome. little one. Little one. Hey, little one. Charles doesn't eat me because I am so fucking weird. <laughs> It's just like with a- Why is there a witch in this game? When you get into a street fight, the best thing you can do is like whip out your dick and pee on them or whatever, because they don't- They're like, what do I do with this information? And then they run away in fear! Yeah, just get naked. Mm-hmm. You it's gotta outweird your opponent. That's the best way. Oh, look at the armor. Oh, I like that. I didn't realize that we were actually getting graphical upgrades to our train here. Yeah, I we, definitely did not notice that. <laughs> Ooh, let's uh, max out our speed. Case. Yeah. Speed is fully upgraded. Speed demon. Let's fucking here go. It's just like nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> goes, <laughs> fucking goes crazy. Starts flying around like the time. train from Back to the Future Part 3. <laughs> These are my children! Same wavelength here, Jules buddy. and Vern! My dad <laughs> named us after books, huh? <laughs> I shouldn't talk. After books specifically. I, sh I shouldn't talk. My one son is partially named after a book character. What book character? I don't want to say, because then you'll know my son's name, Internet People. Oh. What if you just whisper it to me? Cocksucker! <laughs> That's a joke. You don't have to do okay. that. Okay. <laughs> it's not cocksucker. I never read that book. Oh. The cocksucker proxy? Yeah. <laughs> I've never read any books. Oh. I can't read. Oh. Okay. What does this say? I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh Next wow, question. scribbles? Useless. Let's keep going. <laughs> Have I been in here already? Next question. I don't remember this part. Oh, is this the one I... This might be the one that I ran away from. <laughs> Oh, originally. Oh, maybe. Oh, we did open that. Okay. Definitely well, let's, let's, it. yeah, let's take a peek. I mean, can't hurt, other than getting shot or whatever. <laughs> I can't just hurt curious, other than getting hurt. Like, because we still have the marker here. Uh, yeah, we must have not gotten the egg here. We might have just fled. Probably got shot to death. And then I ran away like a coward after I got shot to death. <sighs> that does sound like us. <laughs> that fits. Yeah, that fits. Yeah. Oral death shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oral bullet shot. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, you can like peer around the corners, right? Do a little uh tilt action. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Shouldn't be here! Oh fuck. You shouldn't be I'm not here. here. I'm not. Hi. You're here. Haha, <laughs> 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 got him. <laughs> no, you're here. Oh sh oh, shit. I thought I grabbed it. I also it got real laggy. Did. But it like it turned black before I actually heard the gunshot. This guy saw your move before you made it. Oh man, is he um Nicolas Cage in the movie Next? Yep, and he's also Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! And he's also The Horse? Uh no. And he's also um <laughs> <laughs> No actually. Uh and he's also um Oh my god. The fucking guy's name from Code Geass. Uh, Lucci? No, not not the main character. Yeah. One of the other one of the other guys in the royal family has a spoiler alert for Code Geass. Has a Geass that lets him see his opponent's moves before they happen. Charles? No, not Charles. That's the main guy. Fuck! Is what's his here? name? No! Shut up! Hey! Stop! You! <laughs> I'm mad at you now. <laughs> Fucking with my mouse. Hold on, I'm just gonna Google it. Uh. You shouldn't be here. I'm not here. You shouldn't be here. You're adopted. You wish you never came here. Oh Ow. yes, Bismarck. Bismarck Waldstein, the Knight of Wands. Bismarck E. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, uh... Free-thinking right now. Uh, how could what you? you? Call that? I, it, um... Oh my god. Uh... Fuck! Um... Wow, I can't think of what that's called. I talk about it all the time. <laughs> Something about flow... Of things... Um... Uh, stream of consciousness. Yeah. yeah. Every time you say something, I just I'm saying the first reference to something that comes to my I head. I think that's most of our YouTube show, man. <laughs> to be fair. Uh no, everything that I say is usually very well thought out. Oh. Why? I don't know. I have anxiety. <laughs> yeah, same. Um I just do want you... people to like me. <sighs> same. There's a big dick up here. What? <laughs> Like a melty dick. <laughs> it does look like a melty <laughs> Like Clayface's <laughs> penis. Yeah. Uh, do you. What's your favorite pizza <laughs> topping? Clayface's penis. Oh. Okay, what's your Next favorite question. real <laughs> non fictional pizza topping? Um. <laughs> it used to be meatballs. Uh. Oh. That's a good one. That's a the good place one. place near me. Yeah, the place near me used to make a meat meatballs. They. They'd put them on the pizza, and that used to be my favorite thing. My parents wouldn't always spring for meatballs, so I got just got plain cheese a lot. Um, but yeah, it was meatballs for a long time. More recently, uh, I'll, I'll usually do, like, if, if we get from Domino's, not a sponsor, mm -hmm. I'll get, like, ham and cheddar or oh. uh, ham and jalapeno. Ooh, good choices. Jalapeno is good. I do like jalapeno. It's very, very tasty. Adds a nice kick. I love the pickles. <laughs> pickles are the love. Pickles are the life. I love the pickles. They make me feel the happiness. Pickles, pickles, pickles. Pickles. <laughs> Guess we know what he would get on his pizza. <laughs> How appropriate. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah so she, those, right. those would be my go-tos. Okay. What left is happening? My secret <laughs> jar of pickles. This is I like a bit it. I would do, and then we would be like, anyway. <laughs> She's talking about her pickle cave. Oh no. I, I don't want to go there. Ago, but I, lost my pickle cave. <laughs> um, I possess a pickle key. <laughs> I feel like I even got pretty close with the voice before we even spoke Someone to her. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Lock pickles. And you can bring me my special jar of I hold pickles. my hands out like this in case I need to catch a jar of pickles falling from the sky. She was playing Christmas Massacre. 
<laughs> She's a crab now. Oh no. I knew this day would come. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Massacre, what a- what a ride. Right? All the Christmas games that we played have been just... <laughs> Such a thing. <laughs> I'm really happy with our first Christmas on this channel. I thought it was rather yeah, I entertaining. Think... <laughs> Especially <laughs> I think Winter Games it. 2023. <sighs> I had so much fun <laughs> with Winter Games. The, I cannot... The MXC riffing. Oh. Oh my god. The glitches and curling and oh. <laughs> Just... I loved it. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely worth the money I spent on that game. Oh wow! You really got off track there. Played huh? again. Yep. And yeah, uninstalled it. Yep. Deleted it. Went off the rails. <laughs> <sighs> Literally at some point. We can go back. We can go back and uh, do curling at some point. <laughs> we could. That was fine. Oh, purple is my favorite color. Oh, very cool. That was gonna be my next question. Was like, what's um, your favorite color so I can make sure you never see it again? Oh. No. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. I don't know how to do that, so I don't have the technology. No. Uh, <laughs> I was mad about this lockpicking minigame. You don't have to hide your feelings from me. Nice! Got the pickles. And the pickles. I like that she signed it pickles, but it's just, she is the pickle lady. <laughs> pickles. Pickle pickles. Pick, pick, pick pickles. Is she a Picklemon? She might be a Picklemon, gotta catch up, a dill so true. Gotta pickle them all. Our pickle courage them all. will pull us through. Cucumbers aren't good enough for me. I need them to go through the entirety of the pickling process. God, that is a loud, um, ominous humming. It really is. You know who we need by our side? Geralt of Rivia. I feel like he could handle Charles. Yeah, he'd, probably. He'd be just like, silver for monsters. Wind is howling. I was just gonna say- And then he'd just kill. Just fucking murder Which sword with... do you think he would use? Uh, I think he's a monster, so I would assume silver. Maybe he's a god. Oh, Geralt put your hands away. God. I think Pickle mission. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. No! Charles, I got your next meal. Toot toot! <laughs> she tastes like pickles! Pick, 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 pickles! Eat my pickle pussy! Anyway, um, the. There's a big tree. Look at that. Wow. Uh, Do you want to make the train purple for your favorite favorito color? I do want to make the train purple. Purple is Pur a bitchin' color. I love purple. I think it's a, it's kind of interesting to see people's reactions to to liking purple, though, because it seems like uh, people of the feminine variety seem to think of it as a more masculine color, and then uh, really the masculine people seem to think of it as more of a feminine color. Yeah, I've always totally heard. Fits me. I've always heard. Well, I guess yeah, that's true. I guess I've had more experience with masculine friends. But in my experience, it's been mostly like, yeah, purple's a, an effeminate color, but by wow, you are being risky. I know. <laughs> Here he comes! Let's kick this guy's fucking ass. Charles, more like Shardles, am I right? Get him. We're taking it over. Yeah, Shardles. I love that that Shard also troops. hurts your train. Oh, does it really? oh no, he's hurting your train. Okay, it was just weird timing. Yeah, he's... he's taking a long time before he fucks off. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> uh, damage ass. Yes. Nice. Okay. All right, now, now where the fuck are we? <laughs> Okay, so we'll go. So I have this mission, Canyon Caper, finish it. We could go stop up at that junction and do the. Yeah, do that. That could work. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Do we want to be completionists? I feel like. 
how much time do we have? Like 20 minutes? We could always make it a long one. Could. But prob probably not, though. People were like, I, I put out that, that uh, survey. And I was like, what time should our videos be? And everyone was like, I don't give a shit, just make it consistent. I was like, alright. <laughs> I hear you. Whatever the fuck you want. Um, yeah, it's it, it's good to have that kind of freedom. I, <clears throat> I feel like in order for us to do shorter videos, we'd have to just film longer videos and then really cut them down. Mm -hmm. um, That'd be the only way. But, yeah. Which but is I tough. like our balance. I, I like our balance of full gameplay and commentary. Yeah, I think I think an hour. I'm I'm very happy with an hour time frame. I think people like, and, and uh, this might just be personal bias and bias, uh, personal experiences from my friends and and family and stuff like that. But people have been gravitating towards longer content and enjoying putting on videos. It's just like background noise, you know, like something that you enjoy. And having it be, you know, about an hour is yeah. kind of nice, because you can, you know, when you're when you're making your lunch and eating your lunch, you can throw it on in the background, you don't have to worry about, like, picking a new video when the first one ends, it's just, like, a good amount, yeah. um, which I like. Oh, is this the temple? I don't think so. I think the temple is southwest. Yeah. Oh, okay. Down here. Finish it. Finish. We're kind of close. We are pretty close. close enough, I don't think. I'm glad we maxed um, our train speed, but yeah. I don't know. I I don't think it'll take too much longer to finish these missions, right? We're pretty close. I don't think so. Pages found. Huh? I think you have a quest to collect pages here. In this area, which is why it's saying pages found. There's oh. there's one down there. It's glowing. I think, yeah. That <clears throat> is a page over there, to the right, up, left. Yep. Oh, on the. Okay. Yes, sir. Nope. That's you a light. You think it's like a Slenderman? No. Oh, like there's a, a page. Kind of thing. Ah. Oh, he's holding a severed dick. <laughs> okay. What is this? Music. What? What? What the fuck? What? What am I missing? Stay away from me! What am I uh -oh. missing? What did I miss? This is like a Slenderman kind of this, thing, I think. This is literally like Slenderman. I like- did you, did you ever see the copy of that game where they made it the same, but it's called like Waifu Hunter? No. It's just like pictures of waifus that you collect while trying to avoid like a waifu slayer person. Holy shit! No, I never heard of that. What is happening? Is that like a mini game? Do we? Oh, do we? Okay, we just didn't die. We just. I gotta look up what's happening. <laughs> just like sent us away. Choo choo, Charles, creepy, static man. <laughs> Get the page. God damn it. It's not causing any damage. Okay. It's just like a side mission where you have to get all the pages before the static man gets you. Monster hunting archivist. Is that what we are? Oh, you know what? I bet this person's gonna ask us to get all the pages. It's like another witch. Uh. God damn it. We're gonna be here for the next 20 minutes while I do this. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm on TV Fuck tropes. Anti-frustration features of Choo Choo Charles. During the eight pages collecting side quests, the ghost that's chasing you won't kill you, but simply teleport you away. That is nice. Oh, we got pink paint now. The pink painter. Warren has us watching the boulder field for nearly a week, but we haven't seen anything particularly interesting. We see Sasha walking through the area on occasion, and Charles occasionally makes an appearance, but Warren hasn't been interested in these things. He won't tell us what we're looking for. Just to document everything and let him know if we see anything interesting. <laughs> As shown in the page image for Charles, Charles has way more teeth than a killer train should have. <laughs> How? Oh yeah? 
How many, how, many te how many teeth should any train have? <laughs> I'm gonna go with zero, unless yeah. we're talking about years. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> That's funny. I'm way off from the mission that I came here looking for. But it for. says you keep your pages, so you should still have three or four or whatever. Or whatever. Uh, yeah, I do. I have three. Um, I tried to grab one extra. <laughs> oh, the lantern's grabbed out. me. Okay. That's pretty chill. Oh, no, wait, they don't. Okay, they're just different ones. Ah! The ones that have pages on them are lit. Uh, look that, like they are lit and covered in blood. These are fun noises that are coming out. <laughs> <laughs> this is a game about a killer train and a pickle lady. <laughs> Thanks for tuning yeah. in. <laughs> I hope the YouTube and, algorithm and, is treating you well. And bury the, the river ghost. And bury the river ghost. Look at you kite in this motherfucker. Uh, I don't think it's working this time. You doing oh, great. He missed me. He missed! What an asshole. Ah! Oh no! Was I, I was inconvenienced! Six. Yeah, you're at six. <laughs> I do appreciate the anti-frustration features of this game. I really did not expect Barry and this ghost thing at all in right? this game. This, all the weird shit came out this time with the witch and a pickle lady <laughs> and Barry and a ghost. It's like, what is happening here? <laughs> Never gonna catch Tag, me. you're it. Alright, All right, there's the one more page. somewhere. No, I, I dodged him. Got an area. Yeah. He's got an aura. Right, this is his last page. Where are you? Oh, where are you? Oh, where is the very last page? Oh, oh I'm so trainy. <laughs> I'm so trainy. You don't even know. I'm on the third rail. My guy, don't touch calm the down. Third rail. <laughs> you are so. I'm loud. kind of imagining him. I'm imagining him as, like, driving an invisible car, and <laughs> he can't turn very well. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought he was maybe on a bike or something. Like a, like a Hagrid He's sort of in a weird cycle. seated position. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, he's got, like, screaming children. Same. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just you, then. <laughs> oh, he turned oh, no. around. Shit. Oh, no. He's on to me. No pressure. Actually, there's no pressure. Yeah, I don't... I don't feel much pressure at all, because he's just, like, sending me elsewhere. <laughs> yeah. Is that circle oh, on the map marking up. the last page, or just the area? Um, no, the circle on the map is indicating, uh, where... The journal was that I have to deliver for another quest. Uh, but I already got the journal, so I just have to go back and give it to the lady. Gotcha. Are there multiple page uh, sections? Because no, I thought I saw that pop up at another time as well. I don't believe so. I believe the quest giver says that there's 16 pages, and they managed to collect eight of them. Oh, but okay. there are, yeah, so. Well, shit, what is this last damn page? Maybe all the way out there? This makes me think of Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. And childhood treasure memories. That... I still can't believe that thing said has more more teeth than a train should have. 
I was like, how do you know how many a killer train should have? Yeah. Riddle me this. Trope.com. Yeah, let's see what else is good on here that's like... Silly. Get off my dick. I came, go away. Motherfucker, I'm busy. God damn it. Is this part of an actual quest line? Yeah. Oh, okay. The rocket launcher and Bob deal a lot of damage against Charles, but the reload and fire rate respectively means it's much easier for Charles to damage your train. The former, the rocket launcher, can also damage you in your train if it hits too close. I'm not even there! Go away! <laughs> <laughs> My guy! Gosh, Shooting him in the I face deals more damage. I, did, I kind of figured that. Of all the weapons in your arsenal, the flamethrower combined with their high train speed is the most effective for keeping Charles off of you. Oh, good to know. Because it slows him down. Oh, gotcha. Man, even with this anti-frustration feature, I'm still feeling a little bit frustrated <laughs> right now. <laughs> the developer has confirmed right. that Charles is a riff on Thomas the Tank Engine. Charles has oh. a similar design to Thomas, uh, red instead of blue. But does not appear to have a driver. The show is inconsistent about whether or not the drivers are necessary. And also lives on an island. Unlike Thomas, See, Charles is here. homicidal. And has spider legs. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know Thomas is not yeah. homicidal. <laughs> I must know. Do you have any experience with ghosts? Someone or oh, something yeah. has been painting exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every oh, night. Oh, here we go. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? Apparently not, Sasha. Because I've been trying. So there's an actual mission for, for collecting these pages. Mm -hmm. I see. So now I, now I gotta figure out what the fuck they are. Oh, is it there? Is it their game? Never would have guessed. Is he already on me? Alright, whatever. Come get some. Looks kind of silly. <laughs> True. Where's this last damn image? <laughs> A note found in the game warns about something called Gus the Bus and that Charles <laughs> fears Gus. Oh. How do we recruit Char uh, Gus the bus? Great question. Come on, where's this last pain uh, picture? Oh, here it is. 
<laughs> ah. okay, bye. stops dead. <laughs> God, it actually would have been helpful if you like grabbed me and sent me back to Sasha's house. Maybe that was Gus the bus. Oh. That's why he looked like he was driving a vehicle. <laughs> Maybe. And also, and also, why Charles hasn't shown up. Charles is a bright red killer spider train with a craving for humans. Yes, based yes, on Thomas is. the Tank Engine, but <laughs> but unlike <laughs> Thomas, it has homicidal urges. All right, go ahead, blow Sasha. the train horn. You know you want to. Surely the sound isn't going to attract the hack lo half locomotive monster stuck in the island. Thanks for bringing um. me the- Thanks for bringing me the- Bye! <laughs> Later. Are you able to deal with ghosts? I guess. <laughs> yeah, I fucking I, yeah, I guess. guess so. I'm here to deal with a giant spider train. You think I can't handle a fucking ghost? Yeah, please. Please. Easy pazeezy. Uh, Eddie, ma edit you know, that bit and make it sound like Sean did it in like five seconds. <laughs> Thanks, easy Eddie. Easy What did I do? Yeah, you did great is what you did. And your best. Too. Well, Thank well you. done. Did uh, my best. I'm so proud of you. Look at this badass motherfucking train. Yeah, I'm really proud of this thing, though. Mine is the train that says bad motherfucker. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fully upgrade that bitch. That's gonna... Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! That was the last of our scrap. That's fine. We don't need to repair the train well, if we if... never die. Easy yeah. peasy. Should we go kill Charles's? Probably. Uh, I was gonna back up to this lady, Santiago, because... She's the one that gets the journal. And then, uh, if I go back past her, I Wait, can do we have the journal? Theodore's mission. Yeah, that's what I picked up here. Oh. Okay. We didn't pick. Uh, are you sh Wouldn't the circle go away if we had it, though? It's weird. Okay. Uh, I think I got it. Okay. All right. All right. But we shall see. Oh yeah, okay, so there's like only the two optional things left, and then we will kill Charles. Yeah. Ah, oh, fucking... I know I... Easy. I know that I picked it up. I just don't know if it, like, took it away as yeah, Santiago's journal. Oh, okay, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Eddie, make sure this episode has a special Thomas Tank Engine intro. <laughs> Instead of our normal music, you get some copyright uh, infringement shit. Yeah. Maybe but like, play it though. backwards. Hopefully that train goes past because it's the gate. Charles. <laughs> if it doesn't, you're gonna feel so silly. Uh, I will. You're gonna feel like a silly well, little bear. Rich. <laughs> Eddie, speed that up so we can see what Alex really said. Thank you so much for bringing my You're welcome. Shinx. Journal Returnal. I hope you didn't peek inside, but um. I hope you didn't look inside all my lewd drawings of little girls. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs> what did you say? I said my lewd drawings of of age dragon ladies. Oh, okay. <laughs> but thanks, Santiago. No problem. Bye. Hey. I'm gonna fly in the water now. I think we need to shoot that man. <laughs> oh, he, now he's a dead Opeto. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. He did. Hey, look. Oh, that's that, not far I, enough. You know what? I bet that's going to be, be good enough. Give it a try, brother. It's. it's I bet it's. Give it, nah. Wait, does your train have horns on it? Yes. Oh my god. That's fucking awesome. Wait, hang on. All right, back up. Back up, wait, wait. Back, back it up. up. Back it up! Back it up. <laughs> Look at all this armor. Our train looks fucking cool as hell. 
It's already set the right way, right? I think. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. Good call. Bye. But I did want to get a look at, at the sexy beast. Let's look at that. Look at, look at the front of that. Look at the front of that. Wait, make it green one more time. And then look at the front of the train. Motherfucking Mike Wazowski! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it on. Get it on. I tried oh, that. Charles the tra uh, Charles the Choo Choo Train hails from the island of Arania. Oh. <laughs> uh, train by day, spider by night. Get it on. Yeah, let's get it on. Alright. Fuck oh. it up. Do good to go. Ooh, hello. Go just some free health. There we go. Now we have scrap to repair. I also got All the scrap on the we mission. have from now on is for repairing, so. Yeah, like we don't have to budget it. <laughs> it's all for repair. Hell did yeah. I do your thing? I can't nope. talk to you, so I did not. I right, did not do your thing. I'm so used to like trying Bye. to jump through gaps. Uh, <laughs> in video games. <laughs> Where it's like... It is... It is pretty an innately, like, that's an accepted thing that you... Like, if your character could jump, he has to have a jump height of some kind. Yeah. And, like, a height limit as well, so you gotta try and fit through all the cracks. It's really apparent in Teardown. Oh, yeah. You become very acutely aware of how... exactly how tall your character is. <laughs> and, uh, the holes you can fit through. Yeah, for sure. Did you play, um... Oh... I was just thinking of it. Now I'm drawing a blank. Fuck. Oh, oh fuck. I didn't expect that. That is a man with a gun. You shouldn't be here! You shouldn't be here. Sorry. I just needed this Great. box! <laughs> You're right, I shouldn't see ya. <laughs> Also, did I hear Charles? <laughs> Smell you later, idiot. Pretty sure I heard Charles. Yeah, I heard him. I'm gonna shoot you! I'm gonna- yeah. I'm gonna shoot you so good, you don't even know. <laughs> this gun isn't a Nerf gun, it's real. I got a real gun right now. I painted it myself and my mom said it looks so cool! <laughs> Uh, oh, that. <laughs> oh, I was gonna ask you if you played Oblivion, Elder Scrolls IV. Uh, yeah. I think I talked about this in a, in a previous episode, actually. Oblivion is, uh, like, a big part of the reason why I ended up dropping out of school for a semester. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I skipped a well, lot you, of classes. You're talking about the... I've been there. You're talking about, uh, jumping... Uh, like jump height and stuff reminded me of in Oblivion how you could like find a perfect spot where you can jump and immediately hit the ceiling. Yeah. And you can just basically like spam jump and you train your athletic skill <laughs> to like a hundred. Yeah. He's like jumping in this man's store and he's like, what are you doing, Khajiit? <laughs> You're just like, shush now. Look away for I will become a god. Or you could find a nice corner uh, under some stairs and sneak and like max out your stealth in no time flat. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, he didn't like the barn. Yeah, yeah. He had a hard time with the barn. Um, oh, his health bar disappeared. I was concerned for a second there. One of my one of my biggest uh, skill usages in Oblivion ended up being uh, whatever skill, uh, whatever type of magic it is that you use to unlock stuff, like conjuration or something. Oh, alteration. Yeah, because I pretty early on I created like a master level spell that allowed me to unlock things just by casting at them, and. Oh, oh yeah, that's, they, that's right, they had that spellcrafting thing. Yeah, I used the shit out of that. That was pretty dope. Aw, oh, you no. rolled, damn it! Alright. You fucking stupid ass train. I tried to get off the train earlier, but it, I got stuck on the railing. <laughs> peep peep, backing up! Alright, time to make it go faster. 
Yeah. Propel. <laughs> no thanks. I have. Remember water. when Gatorade made Propel? <laughs> yeah. I actually like. Propel. Are we the same person, man? <laughs> it was good. What the fuck? Yeah, I think we I are. I want ham and cheddar pizza right now. I'm hungry. Doesn't it sound good? The only downside is it's the middle. It seems like <laughs> the middle of the night here. <laughs> What's your downside? It seems Sorry. like um. Domino's quality is going down again. <sighs> yeah, I don't even I don't even get the regular pizza anymore. I just do the pan pizza because it's always better. I wonder if they're it's an upcharge, <laughs> but like I wonder if they're trying to better. force people in that direction. Because like when they when they you know they they had that bad PR for a long time that was basically saying like oh their pizza <laughs> is terrible, don't get it. Catch up on cardboard. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then Domino's is like, alright, we'll respond to that by making some bomb-ass pizza with butter and garlic on the crust. And it was, like, delicious. And it was really good for... Is this going left here? ...many years. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, and I really enjoyed that crust, and then I got it a couple times recently, and every time it's been disappointing since. Oh. Mine's been good, but I have only ordered pants, so I can't maybe. Uh, speak to the regular dough. Maybe I'll have to try that. Do they do they do the butter and garlic on the pan pizza too? Um, That's yes. the exact box I needed. And I will have to try it. I'm looking now take these upwards. Scraps and skedaddle. I did think skedaddle. I did think that crust had a nicer, like a nice spongy consistency. Um. I ended up getting one for free one time, <clears throat> just out of the blue, which was bizarre. Oh, yeah. Like, they, they sent me a notification after I ordered, and it's like, hey, you're getting a free pizza. I was like, oh, oh okay. Cool. <laughs> I do use their app, and like every six orders you get a free pizza, which is cool. Oh, maybe that's why. Uh, I was not aware of that. But yeah. Although it's, well, it's usually not a pan pizza though. Yeah, like it's an upcharge for a pan pizza. Oh, maybe it was that. So maybe they, were, maybe they were just hooking you up. Yeah. I want to get this closer. That's cool. Yeah, and I, I do remember it being good. Um, it didn't have the, the same flavor at that point. So maybe it was relatively new. There's guys here. Oh yeah. With guns. Boats. Guns. <laughs> Gun boats. <laughs> boats. Seriously, we're the same person, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. That's fine. Can't catch me, I'm inside a house. If I had to be uh, another person, that's also me. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello, uh -oh. sir? I was trying to, was sir? Trying to <laughs> shut him into the building. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they can oh, use no. doors. They never taught me how to open the doors. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot open you. The door, I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right. All right, then. If I have to be another person at the same time as me, I'm glad it's you. Aw, babe. <laughs> oh, bitch. Hey. Bitch, I'm honored. You better hope you're fat. Better hope I'm fat. Did he just say you better hope you're fat? <laughs> Beat it, jump. I'm fat. What? I'm fat. Shut I'm up. fat. Really, really fat. You know I'm here. fat. I'm fat. Ham on. Ham on. <laughs> Ham on whole wheat. All right. Oh god. I. No one can hear you screaming out You here. better hope you're fat. <laughs> Maybe fast, maybe even fast. Come back and explain that no to me. It was kind of rushed. Right maybe he said fast, and we just misinterpreted. Oh my god, there's so many guys here. Gotta get back to my train. So I can barbecue them. Don't let them get away! What am I supposed to do here? I don't see any like entrances. You better hope you're fat. <laughs> Shamo. <laughs> You know I'm huge. Uh, I'm let's fat. see. Uh, all right, finish it. Uh, I'm on the walkthrough. Yeah, yeah. Um, make sure you're fully prepared. Collect enough scrap to max out your train. Nice. When it's ready, it's time to bait him to his doom. Head to the temple. It should be marked. 
Yep. When you arrive, you'll come across several cultists. You can sneak past them, but the easier route is to grab their attention and kill them with the turret. Once they're dead, you'll have free reign to ascend the temple. Head to the very top of the pyramid and you'll find a locked door. Oh, I didn't even see a locked door. Up the temple. Yep, yeah, keep going. Yeah, I think it's on this side. Oh, okay, the fourth side. <laughs> well, there it is. There it is. Good thing you didn't what look this so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Time for the main event. So, and then I have to drive past that one bridge that they wanted to blow up. Uh, yeah, that's right, because we wanted him to fall. Oh, well, maybe I should have said that Charles up. falling is a weakness. We already did. But I mean the, the set up the Weird. route. Oh. Eh, Why are they full of electricity? It's weird. They're electric eggs. The shrine, stranger. You don't oh, it's know Doug Dimadome. <laughs> Owner Just of the Dimsdale Dimadome. Slowly and lay flat on the ground. You'll hurt far too many people if you follow through with whatever your plan. You'd be more threatening if your mouth moved. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh oh. Time for running. Oh, uh oh. Oh. Maybe Warren had it right. Oh, now we can run, huh? <laughs> oh, got that Gemadome. Oh, good. See, maybe he's a good guy. Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, see, I had a feeling it would run you. Shoot him until he's dead. Yeah, try to aim for the face if you can, because it does more damage. Working on it. I'm gonna top up a little bit. Hell, Charles. Huh. Oh, oh, dude, he looks like a battle bot. Dude. Oh, whoa! Those kind of look like a battle bot. I was watching a video uh, recently about... This isn't actually going to be interesting because I don't have any payoff for what I'm trying to talk about. <laughs> uh, the video is basically okay. about, like, rejected uh, battle bot designs. Not even rejected, just, like, not approved. Hello. Um, um, is he getting more powerful? Okay. What's with that? Oh, make sure you heal your train. Yeah. I don't want him to eat you, buddy. Well, I appreciate that. Whew. I think he's just getting more pissed. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh. Now we're on the- oh. I was like, are we on the world's longest, uh, bridge? It did seem like a very long bridge. Ooh, we are hurting. We're doing great. Never better. <laughs> Never killed a hell train before. You have no health bar, motherfucker. Oh look, they t they warped us to the bridge that blows up. Ah, uh, thought that might happen. Oh, he's not smiling. Oh. Oh shit. Ah damn. Okay, that'll do. It. <laughs> wow. Gavin, <laughs> holy shit! What a what a journey you've taken us on. Who was Pickle though? That's the most important thing. Oh, we oh. missed it. Man, Charles's themes. <laughs> wow. So he just keeps bleeding, bleeding. <laughs> there'd be a lot of blood in that train. So like, yeah. wow. I 
I didn't know where this game was going. I didn't expect it. I think when we started the game, I was disappointed that it wasn't like creepier in its atmosphere. Yeah. Um, but that was like right at the beginning that, that I had any kind of disappointment. And then like the rest of the game was just building and I really enjoyed this journey that we that Gavin took us on. It was fun. Yeah, I liked the characters. I don't know, the whole thing was weird. It was very weird. <laughs> In a good way, though. Yeah. And I really enjoyed the... I really enjoyed riding around on the train and upgrading our train getting the paint colors and stuff. Yeah. Is this gonna be we a little baby train? must have missed some, because it looked like there were some open spots in our paint collection, but... I saw one in one of the buildings that we were next to, but the door was locked, and I figured we didn't need to worry about picking them all up. That looks like a lot of trains. Eggs. Train eggs. Oh. So all we need is a, like a, a rail gun or a nuke. Drop a rod from space or something. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and nip that in the bud. Nuke it from orbit. Uh, but Maybe Doug Dimodome the fourth will do better than the third dude. Look at that train. <laughs> God, what a fucking beast. Incredible. Wow. This is something 13-year-old me would have like drawn in his notebook at school and be like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make a video game about this someday. Uh-huh, sure, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> or my name is it Gavin Schmubadaba. And everyone's gonna want to play it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, sure, yeah. People definitely pay $20 <laughs> for that on Steam. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> oh, you want ghosts Good to be one. in there too? And a swamp monster? How delusional are we? <laughs> oh, sounds no. like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this this No This episode is was wild in scope. <laughs> it's like it Yeah. All the weird stuff. Oh, yeah, boy. it really came out of the woodwork. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh boy. So that was an episode. Thanks. Well, thanks for coming along on this on this train ride, on this hellish ride yeah. with us, everybody. For sure. Um, I said it a couple times now, and I'm going to keep saying it because I love it as a saying. But thank you for tuning in, guys, gals, and NB pals. And until next time, bye, Pogs. Bye, Pogs. Loving uh, kisses. Kiss me. Toot toot. All right, bye. Give us a little kiss. You want to give our train a little kiss? <laughs>